What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the channel. Thanks for checking out the channel. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button, you hit the subscribe button, and hit the notify button where we're always dropping new Toyota Tacoma content or Land Cruiser. So this is a first edition Land Cruiser, and we're gonna take this out on a test drive. And I'm out here with Marco. So make sure you holler at Marco, you guys. He's out here at Toyota of Gladstone. And if you need a newer used vehicle, he got you. So let's go. Let's see what this big old truck is about to do. Okay. Perfect. So yeah, you guys, we are test driving this. So you guys know I've been test driving. I've been test driving the turbocharged four cylinder. So this is a turbocharged four cylinder as well, but it's made it with the hybrid system. So we're going to get 326 horsepower and we're going to get 465 pound feet of torque. So let's just see what it got. And I'm going to give it over to my guy, Marco. So I'm really excited. A lot of people are buying these things. This is like Toyota's hottest truck these things aren't staying on the lot like employees are buying them people from corporate are buying them and regular folks are just buying them so let's see if it's worth getting the hybrid over the regular turbo turbo charge oh, it feels smooth and it feels different already these trucks are really nice what's on the outside you think we should get it nah yeah, this thing you sit up really high oh the steering is just like oh man the steering is something else Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, this definitely seems like it's got more pickup. And it just threw me in the back seat, actually. <laughs> yeah, this thing is nice. This thing drives really well. Yeah, it, it got up really good. It, I like the big mirrors. Now, these mirrors, when you turn off the vehicle, they fold in, which is really nice. You guys know how I like all the automated stuff and automatic everything. It's riding good and it's handling really nice. And it's very quiet. And you're definitely sitting up high here. Let's get the view on for us. So here's the camera views right here. And you can push some different buttons here, I think. Oh, that's just for that. Let's see. They got like a different. Oh, it was a little bit different. Huh? Okay, so you got that view and then you got that view on this. Mm -hmm. okay. We got a lot of stuff going on here. So this is Safety Sense 3.0. So if you guys remember last time we were riding with Marco, the Tacoma was driving itself. So this one can do the same thing. Correct. You also got your locker buttons down here. You got oh, yeah. the yeah. middle locker, and center it, locker, and you got that rear locker. And the too. rear locker. And you got the stabilizing the bar disconnect. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at some of those fully loaded off-roads, like unless it's like an extra, that's like an extra option. So not all the fully loaded ones, they don't come with that. So mm -hmm. you have to have that added. That is a separate thing. Yeah, and that, I think that runs you quite a bit too. Let's just see. Yeah, the steering on this thing is just really, really easy. And it gets up, it, it's it's nice. I mean, driving that turbocharged uh, Tacoma the other day, just the four cylinder regular one, it was it was nice as well. This one, this one drives really nice too. Yeah, this is really nice when it's going around. Along up here. It's just cruising along. It feels nice and solid. I'm really tripping off how easy the steering is. I, they might have like a, a control to where you can make it more sport or you know normal or comfortable i'm not sure if they have that in here they probably yeah do. they do it there's actually this knob that's just right down here drive mode select so we're in the drive modes so when you switch that knob right or left it should okay. kind of give you a little option in that center okay. display and then it shows your truck right there in the center display which is really cool mm -hmm. this one also does got the heads up display i don't know if you can see that okay. or if that's popped up properly but you do got the heads up display that will project on the windshield yeah here. that's what that is yes. Now the Tacomas don't have that, do they? Does the Limited have that one? The Limited, uh, off the top of my head, I don't even think the Limited does. I think it's only uh, certain features like on the, on the Land Cruiser at the moment. Yeah, it, you can definitely tell this is different. You can definitely, it's something weird about it, but you can definitely tell you do have a little bit more power, I think. It definitely feels a little bit different, guys. But it's a really nice driving truck. Yeah, we're 
portion and park it in Marco. Honestly, if you park want, it. you can reverse it. You right can try the panoramic, there. yeah, just right next to that okay, Prius. Yeah. And let's see what and that backup camera looks like. Let's see that backup camera again. Just follow these lines. Mm -hmm. You good? Yeah, oh yeah, you got, you got space. Okay. And I like that on the, when you hit the, when you put it in reverse, the mirror's actually tipped down. Okay. To kind of see the curve. Yeah, that was a quick little drive, guys, but I was I was definitely happy with it. So thanks a lot for Marco for letting us test drive this baby. Anything else you want to add to this? What else do we need to know about this thing that this thing does? I mean, it's got a lot of off-road capable options. You've got your multi-terrain select down here that you can flip on when you're ever going to be doing those off-road capabilities as well as your crawl control there. Okay. And then like I was saying, yeah, you got your center locking diff and rear locking diff got wireless charging pad here with the USB-C ports, heated steering wheel, heated and vented seats. I mean, you got basically everything when it comes to a Land Cruiser in this one. This one also, with that Toyota Safety Sense 3.0, there's actually a little kind of eyesight thing that like Subaru has where basically it keeps also, uh, track of your eyes so if you're knows, paying attention. Yeah, so if you're knowing for the adaptive cruise control. Exactly, exactly. And then for the lane assist and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I really like that everything is like buttons. Yeah. Um, the Lexus version of this vehicle actually is uh, all digital. Wow. Um, so they're kind of a little bit different when you're looking at the comparing the GX to a Land Cruiser. And then you got the power lifting tailgate as well too. Of course, this one also does got the, the, the cool cooler. Box. So it's got the cool box in here, the huh? The cool box in here that you turn on with that little button right down there. And that's going to keep your drinks and stuff cool? Exactly. Wow. This is nice. And then you got the um, climate control for the rear. You got a climate control in the rear. Those rear seats are tumble fold. So when you hit a button, they flip all the way over and up if you need that extra cargo space in the rear also. Very so nice. it's pretty nice there with the powered lift gate and having the option also to just pop up that open that rear window too okay well let's turn this thing off and i'll tech i'll snatch the camera back from marco and once again you guys make sure you guys holler at marco he's a really nice guy and he's always out here working hard at toyota gladstone so make sure you ask for him but yeah and i'll show you guys this too i think when we lock it those mirrors will go in so that's always nice. Yeah, yes, sir. So thanks a lot, Marco. Again, you guys were at Toyota at Gladstone and they got these things. You guys got more of these things coming in too? We do, we do, yeah, definitely. Okay. So yeah, they've had a lot of them coming in, you guys. This is one of their, they're selling these things fast. And I was wondering how Toyota was gonna do it, how many they were gonna send out. And they're sending out a good amount of these trucks. So that's always good. And then they got one over here as well. So this is just a regular Land Cruiser. Right, yeah, so yeah. like, so like, what's the difference besides that one just being the first edition? Because it's like, it's like six or seven thousand dollars different. It basically has the premium stuff. It basically comes more loaded than than the core edition. The core can come almost as loaded as this one, but they also it just depends on if this one has a premium package. Now, of course, whoever got this one did get the premium package. It's a forty six hundred dollar option. So yeah. it comes so, with a lot of the stuff that that one does. So you can get this one without that premium package. Exactly, which is forty six hundred dollars. Okay, so, and then that's when I think you don't get the power passenger seat. Exactly. Yeah, because I copped in one and it was the regular Land Cruiser, but it didn't have the power passenger seat. Yeah, the, pa and, the, 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 the premium package comes with a lot of other stuff like the JBL and like the memory seat functions and the toolbox and all that. So you can get one without all those options and it'll be significantly less. And you'll still get the camera and stuff. You'll still get the 360 yeah, the camera. Yeah, the 360 camera standard on all three models. Except for the 1958. You don't get it on 1958. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, the 1958. Yeah. You don't. Yeah, so this one is sold right here, yeah. or maybe sold. I'm not sure what's going on. We don't really know what's going on with this one, but they got so many of them here. And like a couple couple people have picked up theirs today. So you guys could be the next people picking them up. So I like the lights. Which lights do you like better, Marco? These lights or those lights, the round ones? I kind of like these ones. These ones are kind of nicer, but I do like the homage that these ones pay to the, the previous. Yeah, and the these ones. And those ones have the same as the 1958. Yes, exactly. They chose the circle ones for the 1958. Yeah, in the first edition. So yeah, I seen the blue one. I seen the uh, the, heritage blue the smoke the blue. Cap. Yeah, smoky blue, smoke yeah, blue. That is a nice color. Yeah, I got a video of that that I'll upload. Like these videos, like I don't know what it is about these videos. You guys watch them sometimes, and then sometimes I just get scared to post them because I don't think I did a good job but i think we did a pretty good job on this one it was a nice test drive it was a short one but i didn't want to be driving around too much but i got the gist of it and it drives well 
it's definitely a, it's definitely it seems like it's a little bit noticeable with the power i kind of noticed as soon as i hit the pedal mm -hmm. it kind of just put me back in my seat and that's definitely with that torque with that 465 pound feet of torque because i'm really considering you know which tacoma to get should you get the hybrid tacoma or should you just get the regular turbocharged with 50 more pound feet of torque but uh that's gonna do it guys so you got you know there's three new options like this is the first edition option that we just test drove and you can always tell if it's a first edition because you're gonna have these first edition mud flaps and then if you open it up one more time marco since we're here and then and then i'll show you guys that back climate control too real quick so you got the first edition right here so it'll say first edition now did they make what is it ten thousand of these roughly i think yeah it is about ten thousand of these so okay. these are only gonna be for, from what i understand the first year okay that they're, they're making them and, and then they're just gonna kind of cut it off after once they start rolling out the, the next years and then you got that power lifting tailgate here mm -hmm. power lifting tailgate and you got that a lot of storage opens. that window opens yeah and then we'll show you the and then like the tumble fold seats if i can move this seat up a little bit further but okay. yeah the, the like little side down there and they're going to be power seats obviously and then you got the climate control back here and it says land cruiser here pockets behind the seats heating and ventilated seats mm -hmm. and we'll see what he can do folding this stuff down oh wow so it folds up just like that so then you so got you even more like so you got even more even space. more space once you do that mm -hmm. so yeah these land cruisers have a lot of space and like if you're thinking about you know like it's fifty-seven thousand for the nineteen fifty-eight, so that's the cheapest you can get in, is yeah, it? So, and you're gonna have this turbocharged four-cylinder hybrid, which is gonna give you, like I keep on saying, three hundred twenty-six horsepower and four hundred sixty-five pound-feet of torque. Or you could look at, or you could look at, uh, I think that might have been Darren. Or you can get, uh, you can get the uh, four edition, the forerunner of what I was saying. You oh. can get the forerunner. The forerunner is gonna have a little bit more room, but this is still a lot of room. And this is just all the new tech. So some people still want to, you know, get an SUV with the, the V6. So that's the last one you can get is the 4Runner with the V6. And it's a little bit bigger, but I definitely like the way these things look. And I like the way it drives. So I'll just show you guys again. You got the telescope up or down for the steering wheel, heated steering wheel, ventilated seats, sunroof, JBL audio. And I really like the infotainment center. And then this big one here so but that's gonna do it guys make sure you guys hit up marco so thanks a lot for checking out the channel have a good day and god bless oh yeah let's look at that real quick marco yeah 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 so this one here too so if so you, you got a little button on the side that you press unlocks it you lift it up and also lets you see the the rear digital camera that this one has so that's the camera that you look at when you're the, using the, the yeah. mirror and you flip that camera on okay there. so then you can do it like that so you can look out there the mirror mm -hmm. if you got a lot of stuff in the back okay and then you just slam it down yeah just locks in place just like that and then you got the windshield wiper there too yep you have the windshield wiper nice spoiler here oh you got the roof rack on this one too you got the roof rack and the rock rails i believe those are the kind of the main things that this one comes with yeah the mud guard that are standard mm -hmm. with these ones yeah i like these rock rails compared to these ones that come on here compared to the running boards i don't really like the running boards they don't look yeah, bad they kind of come out They're yeah they bad. come out yeah like your toe kind of only goes on yeah and those ones i think come from the place i think they're like 1100 bucks or something like that they yeah, they retail I think. so i would definitely want those if i got if i got that one i would definitely want to get these ones on here instead let's see if it says yeah it doesn't it's not going to tell us the price because they're standard but i've seen these on i've seen me put these ones on like the 1958 mm -hmm. and let's see what kind of wheels and tires you got so you got the Michelin Trail, and you're going to be on 265, 70, 18s. 18s, okay. And these things look really, really nice once you lift them and put wheels and tires on them. No, definitely. Yeah, they look really, really good. And then they got the Rigid Industries lower fogs. Yeah, and I was wondering, too, they got, I was wondering if these are the fog, if they got Rigid Industry too in the back by, like, these little backup. I was wondering, where was it? I don't know if that must have been a different truck I was looking at. I don't know what I was, I was looking at something the other day. I guess it was, it could have been, I don't know. I don't know what it was. I'm, I'm not sure if it was the Pro. Maybe I was looking at the Pro Possibly, for the yeah. TRD Pro because they have the rigid industries. I was wondering if like the backup lights by the... Oh, in the rear? Yeah, in the rear might be rigid too. Got it. But that's going to do it, guys. Thanks for checking out the channel. Have a good day and God bless. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers before my birthday. And again, holler at Marco. He's out here at, Cap not, at Gladstone Toyota. And we out, you guys. Peace.